Welcome back to my Let's Play for Moe Mai, my Mono Water Run. It's time to make our way to the Indigo Plateau, so yeah. We're gonna be going through Victory Road tonight. Of course, it's gonna take a while to get there, because we gotta get stopped by every single one of these officers. They're like, you got my badge? I'm like, well, yeah, I got your badge. And I'm like, gosh darn, this sucks. Eats up a lot of time having to stop here and show my badges off one at a time. It's so much more convenient than gold, silver, and crystal, and you'd be like, oh, yeah, I got all eight badges here. See, 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 I got them. And they're like, oh, well, well go on ahead then. Ugh. Ugh. Well, we're halfway there. Let's see, we'll pull out a max repel here. Just to shut off enemy encounters as um, early as possible. Albeit, we're still weak enough to actually get hit by enemy encounters out here. Unfortunately. I suppose I can counter that somewhat by just throwing, um, Toxic Spray up front. After all, Toxic Spray being level 49 is stronger than most of the Pokemon I'm likely to run into out here. Um, even though we want Victor Road, it would seem to cap out like 46 or so. So, it's just to my advantage to do it this way. If I want to just, you know, avoid the random monsters that can pop up and attack you in the water. And in the grass. Which is usually preferable, in my opinion, because it cuts down the length of the episode if I don't have to constantly have to stop and deal with, you know, onyxes and gravelers and all that stuff. <sighs> okay, finally the last one. Yeah, I have an Earth Badge. Just, just let me go on ahead. Sometimes I wonder why this check's even ne necessary, considering you have to beat um, Chiyopani before you can actually get a shot at your rival trying to block you on the way to Victory Road. Um, so it does seem kind of weird, you know? And yeah, I finally gave in, gave, um, Skull Crack and Strength. I would prefer giving it, like, Thrash or something, but I don't think that's feasible at the moment. So I'll take Strength and Earthquake. Yeah, I gave Earthquake as well. I thought it was on Victory Road for some reason, forgot, like, yeah, in this generation you get from Giovanni, duh. So, yeah. Gyarados has finally got some moves that maybe you can't do stab with, but, you know, at least they're um, based on the attack stats, so, you know, I can do a bit more with them, hopefully. And I'm definitely going to try and bypass as many trainers in here as possible. Oh, yeah, I got to move this boulder. Duh. You got that right. I hate having to reactivate this, though, when I'm in the same cave system still, technically. Oh, no, it didn't. Uh, I got more repels. Hopefully I don't run to the cry guy, but I can't remember exactly where he's at on this darn thing. Oh, there he is. Okay, able will get past. Good. I need to go push a rock into that thing. Gosh darn it. Okay. Yeah, I'll use strength. and Start moving this around. I think getting this one place is unnecessary. I'm not entirely sure of that. I think it opens up a passageway on this thing. At least I think it does. I know we gotta go through here, though, if we wanna push a boulder down a hole, though. So, yeah, this may be a uh, unnecessary job, but I'm still gonna do it. Just to be safe. And I have absolutely no reason to go after Moltres, because I can't use it, so screw it. Overheat, eh? Eh, that's not going to be too useful. I mean, I know Skullcracking can learn Flamethrower. I don't think he can learn Overheat. Okay. Okay, we were able to dodge that. And, bam. 
think that should put where I need, need to go. Okay, one more repel, hopefully. There's gotta be some point where we're gonna get hit by a turn battle we can't avoid around here. Oh yeah, I gotta reactivate strength here. Yep. The sad part is you can't use um the first seeker on Victory Road, and I'm not exactly sure why. I don't know, it's just a thing you can't do on any cave for some reason. Or... It's just some weird rule. It's like, oh, there's really powerful trainers here, and they're all on their way to Indigo Plateau, so they can't be bothered to stop and battle you, you know, whenever you feel like it. Kinda sucks, I'll admit. Jeez. Got through this entire place like into one paddle. I like it. It does make for a quick episode, at least. Something I'd like, since, you know, I got fries in the oven at the moment, so it'd be nice to finish this up and be able to have plenty of time to go pick them up. Well, that'll do for this episode. Next time, we'll be taking on the Elite Four. Though that probably won't be for a while, I have to admit. I'm going to have to do quite a bit of training, though at least with having reached Indigo Plateau, I can now leave and then fly here whenever I feel like it, so... I don't have to go through Victory Road ever again if I don't want to. Till next time, then. See ya.